Hi, I'm Marcel back with The Pulse. Today, I'm going to walk you step by step through the Do Not Age NAD test kit. Now, NAD plus is a coenzyme central to metabolism that's found in all living cells. And without it, we would die in a few seconds. Um, but we do produce less and less of it as we age. And recent science has shown that if you can boost NAD levels, you can basically feel, act, uh, perform uh, like you did when you were uh, quite a bit younger. Um, there's a lot of tests going on involving NAD with model organisms that have shown positive results. And this year at Harvard University, David Sinclair's lab has begun human trials on tissue and also testing with how NAD, raising NAD levels impact certain disease. So in the meantime, Many of us have been taking precursors to NAD because you can't ingest NAD directly. So many of us have been taking things like NMN, NR, even niacin or apigenin to boost our NAD levels. I personally take NMN. I've taken it straight on for eight, the past eight months now, and I'm about to increase from one gram to two grams. And uh, I did take it for three months prior to, uh, to that eight months. But then I stumbled upon a fake NMN on Amazon. And so I was off NMN for a while and not feeling as much results. So when I found a good company and found a reliable source for NMN, I started taking it again and I've been doing just great. And I've been able to exercise several hours a day, every day, rebounding really, really well. I do take other supplements. I also take uh, resveratrol, I take TMG to help manage the levels of that NAD boosting, but NMN is the key thing we're looking at to boost, or at least I am, to boost my NAD levels. The other things sort of help me manage that, and I do so much fitness that I've started taking magnesium and zinc and uh, a few other vitamins to help replenish my body's uh, levels of those because I really do uh, burn a lot of calories um, because I get so much energy from NMN. So I'd like to know, how much NAD is in my blood. And that's why I decided to do this NAD test. Also, I'm going from one gram to two grams now. So I'm gonna test again after three or four weeks of taking two grams to see how much those NAD levels change. I'll be on the lookout for another follow-up video to this where I do a test again after taking two grams. And it'll be interesting to see, I think, um, the results of that ultimately. So what comes with your NAD test kit? Well, first of all, it's shipped in a manila envelope, and that envelope uh, contains instructions, very helpful, a rubber glove, which you will need, I do recommend. I put it on my right hand. Um, you're gonna wanna do the actual test, which is a blood test on your non-dominant hand uh, in, the middle, in the middle finger. I'm gonna sort of read those instructions off to you as we go, but first, the rest of the contents are uh, two alcohol pads two lancets, which are the device, which um, somewhere here, which actually will poke the hole in your finger. This is the sort of lid. So this is uh, the device that will poke in the side of your uh, middle finger. I'm not flipping you off here, but, um, and draw a little bit of blood to put on a little card. There are two Band-Aids. There's a fixer buffer, which is a, a liquid that you put on a card. There are five circles I'll show you on that card. And uh, also then, of course, the filter paper, as I mentioned, uh, an aluminum bag. So just you don't just stick it in the envelope. You put it first and seal that aluminum bag. And um, then you put it inside the pre-addressed pre envelope and send it off to the U.S., um, you will, if required by the courier to fill out the contents, um, you'll, you'll say it's filter paper and you'll put a value of $1. That is all in the instructions. So let's get to um, the, the video I made here of uh, me doing the test, as you can see, showing the contents, the instructions. I'm going to start with that plastic bag that contains the rubber glove. Uh, took me a second to put this on, uh, but it is very helpful. It is very useful and uh, for a couple reasons. Obviously, you want to keep everything sterile. Um, you should wash your hands, by the way, and do the test first thing in the morning. 
you want to uh, sterilize that middle finger of your non-dominant hand using that alcohol prep pad. So that's what I'm pulling out of that little, the same bag that had the glove in it. And I'm gonna, there's two of those, as I said. Yeah, I'm gonna open that up and basically wash that middle finger. Now, I could have used the index finger, I used the middle finger. Could have used the pointer finger. So there it is, I just poked it. No pain at all, trying to show it to you. There's no blood in this really for the most part, so don't be gored out. Now, it's really hard to see, but you take that, that poker and you push it, press it into the side, and it just makes a little popping sound when it's impressed. And now this is really important. This is me trying to get enough blood out of my finger. Now apparently I'm too healthy that I'm healing right away and the blood, the blood isn't coming out uh, very quickly. So basically what I did was um, took that finger and sort of eventually started pushing it with the glove. And that basically was able to push out enough blood. Now another tip is you can take that alcohol pad if the blood stops on the finger, as it did to me, you can wipe it with that alcohol pad again, and that'll free up any clotting or closing of that wound. So it doesn't poke a huge hole, which is kind of nice. It doesn't hurt at all, but um, but it does. It is kind. It was a struggle for me to get enough blood on that uh, filter paper. So uh, just be advised. You want to try to try to squeeze it. Be careful that you don't get blood on that rubber glove, so you get it uh, all over the card. I got a little bit on my filter card on the on the corner as well. So after you get blood on the five dots, you're going to put fixing liquid on the first two dots. Two to three drops each. Um, And then after you get that on there, you're gonna wait for two hours and then come back, sign the card, put the date on it. You wanna let that dry is basically what you've done. And put it into, when you finish uh, putting your name and your date on there, I'm not the fastest writer in the world. I type so much faster than I write nowadays. But you're gonna take that thing and put it in the aluminum, uh, the aluminum bag. And that was even a little tricky. <laughs> you can get it in there, it fits in there. But I fought with that aluminum bag for a little bit before I could get it to pop inside there. Then seal that closed and put it all into the, into the envelope. And all you do is mail it to Atlanta. So if you'd like to test your own NAD levels and get this test kit, you can get those at donotage.org. You can use my code, the Pulse. The link is in the description. You can save 10% and they'll contact you when the results are ready in a few weeks, let you know your NAD levels. You can make whatever changes you wanna make after you take that test get tested again and see how much your own NAD levels tested. There are also places you can go online to get published results of typical NAD levels for your age. So it'll be interesting for a few of us in this group, in this community, to sort of get tested and kind of compare notes and see where we're at. And you can do a number of other things to boost your NAD levels as well. David Sinclair has talked about how exercise boosts your NAD levels, proper amounts of sleep, and also intermittent fasting. So there's some other steps you can take beyond just NAD precursors to boost your NAD levels. I practice all of those things, so hopefully my NAD is uh, up there as high as I feel it, it is. At least I feel the benefits of taking the NMN that I do, and also all the other activities that I'm engaged in. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to keep up with more and to see the next video where we talk about the results.